Alright, I spent most of the last episode rambling about how I was going to buy Persona 3. And by the time this video's come out, I will have truly and definitely either uh, been have, have bought myself Persona 3 or been cucked out of it again. I don't know. That, that remains to be seen what happens with that. But hopefully, I'll have got it. And hopefully, I'll think it's good. Because, you know, that will have been 60 quid spent on a game. You know, it, if, if that shit doesn't, like, read in my disc tray first try, that's going straight back. So, yeah. I'm going to be sorting that out. I'll have, oh, sorry, I'll have sorted that out, like, two weeks ago at this point. Uh, when this video is out. Uh, but I didn't make any, yeah. So I didn't make any progress last episode, so I need to try harder this time. Because that must have been crazy frustrating to watch. And it was frustrating for me to, for me to play, really. But it must have been even more frustrating to watch because you'll probably have seen all the fucking stupid shit I was doing that was making me crash. Which mostly, I think, wasn't my fault. Uh, which was why I was getting so mad at the game. But, I mean, you know. When they're trying to push me into the wall and stuff, going through a tiny little shortcut, that's when I get a little bit mad. I'm like the, uh, the autistic girl from Power Drone. Who's like, I don't understand why anyone needs to play dirty to win races. That's, uh... I call her autistic because, like, I've only read her character description and it sounds like she has autism. Because, like, she's like... She's like... <coughs> <coughs> she's not like that. She's like, um... Has trouble, like, socializing with the other drivers and stuff. Uh, which, 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 which says autism to me, so... She's claimed as my power drone waifu. Uh, if you guys want a power drone waifu, you're gonna have to choose between basic bitch Mc main character, and um, why why is why did that why did that happen? I don't I genuinely don't know why my car started sliding like that. Yeah, you're gonna either have to choose between basic bitch Mc uh, main character, or literal war starter. I'm a retard and. You know, AIs deserve rights, muck robot lady. Alright, let me let me make let me make one thing clear, okay? I'm a I wish I could remap the nitrous button because it's super, super uh it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna get eliminated. Fuck me. I hate this. This game was so good when it started. You know, and these Speed Underground 2 is really good, and I've got to get to that one, but I have to suffer through fucking this first. Jesus. Maybe if you played this on easy mode, or like, you were really good at it, um... When you were a kid, you could say it's your favorite Need for Speed. But, like, for someone like me, who's just average, and plays on medium, and is a basic bitch McMain character, McStarter character, not main character, because in Power Drum, I guess you choose whoever you want to, not drive as, but, like, race as, if you see what I mean. I don't know, I haven't played it yet. Um, like, I guess, I guess that be how it works. <laughs> in terms of that whole deal and it's it's just when stupid shit happens you know it's it's pretty frustrating You know, I like the 206, right? I don't want to be fucking dicked over by some cunt driving one. What's his name? Bryce. Yeah, you can... everyone called Bryce is a cunt, by the way. That's just a cunty name. You, you, you... <coughs> you hear someone called Bryce and you go, yeah. You know, you, you don't even have to be told Bryce is a cunt. You just know.
just one of the rules of the universe. Like, the, your name determines your personality. It's true. And don't try and tell me it doesn't. Because, like, explain the Chad syndrome, you know? You can't. Without at least acknowledging that naming has some kind of... No, I wasn't! I was a... Fuck you! Yeah, I was clearly ahead of the green, fucker. Unbelievable. Alright, one last try and I'm switching it down to easy, because this is fucking stupid. I'm mad because I'm bad. I need to start taking that shortcut as well. Not the one that's marked on the map, there's like a little, little tiny one that links onto that, makes it much smoother. I need to start taking that. But I'm not, because I'm a fucking shitter. I need to get good. I definitely need to stop bouncing off the fucking walls. Yeah, fuck. Just fuck! I really want to emote like I, I normally can, but I can't because I'm sick. We're going for easy. Bullshit. Fuck this. I've been playing most- I think I've been playing most of this game on easy, because I need it, because it's fucking re retarded. I, I know I can play through Underground 2 on medium. Mostly because that game doesn't have fucking bullshit track design that jumps out at you, unironically. I just like Underground 2 better, because it's better. And there's less of this just shit in it, you know? Unbelievable. I put it on easy and the guy in the 206 does exactly the same fucking thing. Just fuck him, honestly. Get him out of my sight. He says, hitting the handbrake instead of the NOS for the millionth time because the buttons are in retarded positions. This game must have been really, really good for 2003 to get a sequel and everyone have, everyone like it. Because playing it back now, oh, oh lordy. And I like old games. But like this one, to deem some of the stuff that's going on here like acceptable, you gotta have played this young, you know? Or lucky. You're either really young or really lucky. Because the kind of shit that keeps happening is getting fucking irritating now. I probably don't have to restart every time. I can probably fucking... I could probably have driven that out, maybe. I don't know. I didn't even try. I just jumped straight to restarting. Right? Because it happened on the first lap. And fuck it, honestly. Especially because this is an elimination race. I don't want to be dealing with this fucking bullshit, but apparently putting it in easy mode has finally actually loaded and the AI are actually behind me. So that's... no they're not. You, phew, you, put, it, you, you put it on easy mode? Nah mate, we're still gonna have like fucking ridiculous rubber banding. Cheers for playing. You know, I can only think of one problem I had with Underground 2 while I was playing it, either this year or last year. Okay, let me let me tell you what that problem was. I'm gonna be like Shane from The Walking Dead. Let me, let me tell you something. Um, fucking the one problem I had with that game is that the 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 final boss race 
against the I can't even remember his name, but I, I know you know who I'm talking about. Final boss. The only problem I had with Underground 2 is that the final boss race is kind of disappointing. Because it's like a shitty track design and he's really slow. You know. They could have they could have at least like taken, hey, we have an open world now and made the final boss race like one or two laps around the very outside of the entire map, you know, but they didn't do that, so. <coughs> <coughs> and the other problem is, like, the how you have to use the customization system to get progression, so you might build a car you're happy with, but you have to modify it to keep progressing. But you, you can get over that second thing, and the first thing isn't even a real problem, it's just like a, a preference thing, you know, something they could have done that would have been like more impressive. It's not, it's not even like a real problem, it's just they could have made it more impressive by doing this, rather than just, you know, here's an open world street racing game. We we basic, we saw Midnight Club 2 and decided let's do that but better. Um, yeah, but with this game, I can think of a lot of things. Uh, well, no, there was one pretty huge thing that I change, and that's how the fucking game reacts when I fucking hit something. Man. It's ridiculous. Just make it stop happening. Make it so I can clobber a wall, and my car feels like it weighs more than three quarter of a stone. And I'll be happy. You know, like that. I don't want to be thrown across the track. I want to clobber the wall, and lose a bit of speed, but ultimately be able to actually keep going at the end of the day. Also, I don't like how I just watched him teleport from one side of the road to the other side, not once, but twice. And for that, mate, you get spun out. So fuck you. I'm not dealing with any bullshit. I'm not taking any fucking prisoners on this last lap. You can hang around way back there. Cunt face. Fuck me! I can't even find the nitrous button when I need it. I just have to make things worse and hit the fucking handbrake. Unbelievable. But at least I finally made progress. It's only taken me... Uh, 20... It's only taken me about... 33 minutes to actually finish one race today. <coughs> Which, to be honest, is, is more progress than I made at school. Because I didn't, I didn't really do anything at school. I didn't even hand in my homework when I was supposed to. Which I fucking did for once. Unbelievable. I take notes on an hour-long documentary and I forget to hand it in. They're never going to believe that. They go, oh yeah, yeah, but you just did it like last night. If I, if I try and hand it in tomorrow. For fuck's sake. I gave her my book, but I didn't give her my homework. Unbelievable. Just an embarrassment, really. I, I don't know how I do this stuff half the time. I really don't. But I, I manage it somehow. Let's get a bit of carbon fiber in here. Let's go for... Yeah, let's go for that one. Oops. Wrong button. Got any... I've got a new body vinyl. Let's see what it is. Oh, is that it? BS13 isn't even in this game. Why would you include this? Now I've removed my unique. Oh wait, I can, I can get it back. Okay, that's fine. Let's get my let's get my unique vinyl back on there, man. Stop hitting the wrong button to go back. I don't know what I've been playing that's made me think that circle is back, but clearly something. Right. Well, now that I've definitely made sure I've learned what the nitrous button is, uh, I'm gonna try and do a drag race, I guess.
medium. It's a drag race. I'm sure I can handle medium. I mean, I, I know that I can't, but I've got to give it a try, I guess. At least. Man, those headlights on that are... S13. I mean, I, ju I know I just said the S13 isn't in this game, but like I meant, I meant, uh, I meant, I meant the Sylvia. That's a, that's a 240, you know. Also, another thing I, I, I have a problem with about, um, needs to be payback. I was gifted that. I was just gifted that win. And that fucking taxi took a thit away. Unfucking believable. Traffic cars were the worst decision to add to any game ever made, including street racing games. They don't belong. LMAO. But it looks like everyone else behind me crashed on that one uh, blue car, so I should be fine for now. just like cruise to the finish line yeah okay job done only took me two tries that was one of the easier drag races really I, what I was trying to say was that um, the 240 with the fixed headlights I thought it was a Z32 for a second I mean obviously I know that the Z32 isn't in this game that, but it looked it looked like one if you see what I mean uh, speaking of uh, 300Zs and that kind of car and stuff uh, one of the reasons I bought I was so into buying uh, Kaido Racer 2 was that um, it had the Z31 it has not had has uh, the Z31 in it and that is a car I like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Like I'm a big fan. Like I'm a notorious, a notoriously big fan uh, of the Z31. I don't know if I've gone on about it on this channel yet, but that car is A-E-S-T-H-I-C-A-F. Boy. And I'm, I'm into it. I don't know about you, but I like it a lot. Uh... Shit, better start my third episode. This is getting a bit long. I'm definitely not going to finish this race in this episode. So. Uh, I'll click. I'll hit resume race 